Hey everyone, welcome to Live Free and Tool On. Have you ever been skeptical about buying reconditioned or refurbished or even factory blemish tools? Well, today we're going to talk about that. A lot of times you can go to the factory outlets and you can get tools that are not normally available in such stores as Home Depot because they're blemished or they've been returned, which means they go back to the factory, they get repaired or they get reconditioned, and then they resell them at Hoso, which you can get some very deep discounts. In this case, if you're looking at Milwaukee, Ryobi, um, Rigid, Home Light, there's a few other brands there. Um, direct Tools, so directtools.com, you can go there and you can get factory blemish, overstock items, things like that. I regularly go there because I really like good deals and I'm sure you do too. But there's a lot of big fear factors whenever you go to those outlets. Am I going to get a tool that you know, wasn't repaired correctly? Well today, let's just take a look at those. I just bought these tools. I've always had good luck, so I don't have a big fear factor, but we're going to check them out anyways. So first we have the eight, 1 plus 18 volt heat gun. I've wanted one for a super long time. As you can tell when it comes in the package, it just comes in a regular old box and they put a sticker on there. And then the next thing, regular old box here, is the narrow crown stapler. I've been wanting this for a long time as well. And then it comes with the bag, so let's pull it in and take a closer look. Now, as you can see, it looks really good. Check that out. I don't see any, uh, they have a little sticker on the bottom of it. I guess that's when August uh, 20th of 2021 is when it was repaired. They had a quality control inspection on it. But if you look at it, I, you know, I don't, there's no blemishes on here. I don't really see any damage. It looks pretty brand new. The grip feels really good. I really don't see any problems here. So it may have just been a return. Um, you know, don't really know. But there's one way to find out if it does work. We just stick it in and we try it. So it's on. It's heating up. It's getting really hot. Yeah, so it works just fine. Uh, the one thing that you will notice here, and i got to be careful because this is super hot. It got hot really fast. They always burn into this, so it's not a marker. They burn into it recon. So that means reconditioned. So, and, and what that really means is that they want you to know that this is not a warranted item. This is reconditioned. It has been returned once already. Uh, which is just fine. So if you go out and try to sell it, oh, this is brand new. Yeah, you know, you're not going to be able to do that. Even on the book, it has a sticker that says Recon. But it does come with the accessories, which is really nice. So this is something that I've wanted for a long time. Yeah, so I like this one because you can put it over top of a pipe or anything round. And it will really keep that heat all the way around it, or at least most of the way around it. And, uh, you know, you can really direct that. Yep, that's hot. And then you can hyper, you know, focus in the heat. Yeah, man, I don't see anything wrong with this. Only time will tell, though, if there's been something detrimentally wrong. But when they do go through the reconditioning process, they do uh, do a deep dive. They have their quality checks on these, too. So, you know, I think it's really nice that they do this and you get such a deep discount. I think I got this for maybe 30 or $40. Typical price for this, I believe, is right around fifty to seventy dollars, depending on what sales they have going on and what part of the United States that you're in or Canada. Okay, so the next one, let's take a look at this. This one also looks really good. The grips are good. There's no blemishes. There's nothing on it that I can see. Um, you know, it has all the proper stickers on it here. Um, it does have the reconditioned sticker on the bottom of it right here, and it does have burned into it recon right there, which is just fine. Now the reason why I wanted this, I don't use it that often and I need this for really thin wood that you really need to anchor in a lot better than let's say you could a brad nailer. But you know, let's take a tour around it, open it up. I don't see any problems, everything slides in there okay. Alright, so let's give it a quick test. And the bag, same thing, they have the book in here which is nice, recon. Um, they have a bunch of staples. Oh, they do have the, the belt holder here. That looks pretty new. I'll put that on here in just a minute. Well, let's throw some staples in. Let's give her a whirl. Now, 
those are in. I want, I'm going to set the level to all the way out. This is the least powerful that it can go. Let's use this. This is pressure treated pine. Yeah, so that's still a little bit proud of the wood, so that's fine. Let's see if we can't get it down there a little further. Okay, so this is right around, right above 50% power. Still sinking it well. There we go. That's where I want it to see. A little bit more. There's a really good gradual step in here. I wanted to test it out on, on uh, every two cranks, right? So one, two. So you can see that we have some that are proud here. We have some that are just below the surface and it continues to go down uh, gradually every step of the way. So you have one, two, three. I did those proud on the least settings. The deeper ones that are here, which go probably about a sixteenth of an inch down. This is an inch and a half uh, staple as well. Um, they really did sink it well. So that's really powerful. And the reason why I did this is because I want you all to see that all the settings actually still work on this, even though it's reconditioned. So I do got to say this is pretty impressive. I'll tell you what, and for the money that I put into it, um, the return's great. So I got right around maybe, I think, 40% off of this. I got this for $80. So yeah, I got this for $80 on directtools.com. I have no issues with it. Um, and I hope to not have any issues with it. Hopefully it was just a, a basic return to Home Depot and I've got a pretty much a brand new tool. Okay everybody, so that's it. I hope this took a little bit of fear factor or at least gave you some perspective on some of the reconditioned or some of the blemish tools that you get some of the factory outlets out there. Um, and you know, get out there, try out some of these tools, build something awesome. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. Please hit the like button and hey, we'll see you in the next video. Take care everybody.